morning, everyone. Good morning, Aaron. It's a very exciting to be here today. I uh, just want to do this with you and I and where it's heading in Canada. Good morning, engineer, and at Allside, one of the rare companies of the world that has been given the opportunity to push the boundaries of their capabilities. Serving the first half of my company's mission, I have four colleagues. What is the opinion? What are the benefits of the company? So, I was going to be a line or a source. AI models to. It actually means something to me here right now in front of me that I left seven years ago. Back in the days, in 2017, researchers, academics, we all knew each other. We want to build the most capable AI for the You can tell me there's already AI models that can produce this code. I can stress a bit of using ChatGPT to actually help them in the way today and define the use case, which is already a piece of things. No one wanted to look at an AI textbook code. I don't know if they wanted to look um, at doing reviews to my colleagues. They said, hey, don't look at that. And now, 80% of the code that we're trying to get to work on is not produced. So, the next is this, and people are getting ready. So, besides, we're saying that. The future of software is the AI, the future of the AI is software. Software can be a proxy to human behavior to actually push the boundaries of the capability that the nature of software. This is a constant I'm going to come back to the presentation. And now let's dive in uh, into the now. Because the single reason that if you want to in this industry, there's no way around. You need to train your own models. You cannot find your own models. The most important activity of the AI emerged during the beginning, and then you use the training to actually make them accurate and useful. So this is why so in the world can actually work on that topic, because it's extremely computer sensitive in terms of computers and resources. In terms of data, there's no surprise. The quality of your data makes the quality of the qualities of your data, whether it's retraining, screening, or doing the alignments in response to learning, or improving in the environment. Let's take an example of a picture of the past. We actually found harder the I took the example of Famous open access and open team called Ocean Web. It's a very typical one. So I, you can see the pipeline at starting from the data source that is usually the entire internet web. And then one of the pipelines is a subset of a feature process of the initial data source. So this you go to steps, you need like open source, you need 
to English, which is the whole thing. We need to keep in mind. And a lot of things. So, basic, suffering, obviously, the hate the things you want in the order to be driven about. But other things can be left out. By his intro, the So, when you focus on software generation, there are lots of Why I decided to make software engineer software generation the most focus. I can say something the biggest one where to find the massive software. Of course, of course, of course. I am as a developer. If you take the entire set of of the English convention, you have less than zero to one percent of the people that you need to train those models. You need to train way more products, and you need to be good for it. So, how do you identify that? It's also difficult to how can you obviously detect bad code as a risk and it's used as a good or lack of Um, in GitHub, you have hundreds of millions of repositories, but most of them are not that good. So, for example, garbage. So, it's extremely difficult to stage of pitch like this. It's actually the key to build the best that they can do to make the story emerge later on. Like a hyper programming language. So, talking about in the open projects, where it is, Python, JavaScript, maybe Google. But actually, the opposing models of the industry as well can be very hard to produce. Actually, not that hard to produce. What are the things that are actually in the book? Is there a couple of things that have? And analyze the worst Now let's take a step by step. Why software? Because the future of AI is software. Because we fundamentally think that focusing on software is actually the best, the easiest way to show what AI is possible. Some work in the is actually classifying the language as a capability that is serving conversions, being able to learn faster and quickly. It is actually quite good. On the full side, we focus on the two capabilities that are the most in the landscape of it works today planning and reasoning. Mean it would be good to engineers need the most when they work. So they have to get to work. It's not usually general AI model, but they're not specific to that code. It's usually a focus on knowledge or a focus on understanding, for example, use case. Then, secondly, we talk about certain pieces of technology that can be made, which is. We 
trying to let the um, unique aspect of the which is you don't need humans to actually evaluate the code. You can just hit it and you run it and you just start off. And if you manage to do that at scale, you can actually do the learning human feedback, which is the main problem of modern security. You can do it at scale. And then you can actually do the model. So what does it mean in practice? You have tens of tests, where the jury's are going to be out there, or the limbs are going to be there. And you have a massive sandbox and you run and you can and you let the model start something and it will give you a massive amount of money. But it has to be and it learns on its own. So now think of something we actually took a picture and we end we asked the model to explore the database with planning activities to generate a bad solution. At the beginning, it failed. But at some point, it succeeded. So here we just generate some data automatically. So this is the last one. Remember, five lines. The, the beginning is from the data source. Everyone is using that. It's bounded. The data is bounded. So they need to to leverage high quality synthetic data is another way to actually unlock AI capabilities. And it is the other way to use the reason. So, the plan is very ambitious. Um, it's not just that we need to be very good at understanding how we want to go to the future of AI and then source it. So, we focus. Delivery uh, experience, state of the art for helping developers with AI with the best models. So, this is basically something living the closest to your heart in the IoT, looking to control certain code states, what you can control, and how to actually restructure the conference or test it, whatever you need. Step two is what we believe is going to be the experience with AI and software in the coming next two years. There's going to be a split between humans leading the conversation and suddenly AI is going to be the lead of the conversation. So you're going to start as software engineers from a level description of what you need, but without really knowing what you need, and the AI is going to help you where you need to go. You need to actually explore that space. How can you and then see the future with it? So, this is something that uh, is going to unlock everyone who uses the software, even people who are not familiar with the code. Step three is the generalization of the AI capabilities that are going to emerge thanks to software. This morning, about where AI is going, especially in terms of innovation, or it's not exciting. 